Located in one of Singapore's oldest residential neighborhoods, Tiang Baru has undergone a gentrification in recent years. With Art Deco walk-ups and green patches, the neighborhood is prime real estate for a slew of pop-up cafes and boutiques that have recently moved in. Flot Cafe is the first stop on our Tiang Baru tour, a new addition to the area serving up single origin coffees and the perfect runny eggs. It's a family affair with the Lee sisters setting up shop after ditching their corporate career tract for the cafe business. Customers have quickly become regulars, soaking up the familial setting and friendly service. It's a great place to start out your morning as you begin the Tiang Baru Trail. Next up is the Nana and Bird Boutique, owned by two stylish best friends turned store owners. The concept originally cropped up as a pop-up store out of owner Georgina's home before the two turned this pet project into a full-blown shop. Pulling local Singaporean brands and international acts, the girls have gained notoriety for making the selection feel like your best friend chose it for you. New offerings from the duo are spreading up around town, including the specialty shop Turi and a second Nana and Bird store located on Cheyenne Street. Books actually is a Tiang Baru mainstay on the Yong Shiak drag, as storied as the novels within its shelves. Originally founded in 2005, it brought books to indifferent Singaporean students before finding its home in the area. Books actually has been credited with not only bringing a well-edited selection of modern literature to the masses, but also running its own private publishing business, vetting local Singaporean writers and creating a Navo literary community. Kenny runs the place with a team of passionate literary junkies, and keep your eyes out for the store's informal mascot, Cake. Customers will be impressed with the depth of the selection in the Cram store, and the owners pride themselves on offering lesser-known titles of famous authors. Where you find copies of Huck Finn, you will also be pleased to discover Roughing It side by side. After pounding the streets, check out Open Door Policy, a heavily applauded dining establishment that's the brainchild of Australian chef Ryan Clift and the Spa Sprite Group. A skylight brings natural warmth to the 60-person restaurant, employing a mix of urban materials and rustic decor. We recommend the halloumi salad, seared scallops, and the hearty burger for your meal. Drinks are just as good as the food selection, with inventive cocktails and coffee from the neighboring 40 Hands Cafe. When you're ready to kick up your heels and knock one back, head across the village green to Cock and Balls. This cheeky newcomer draws on the fable of the Tiang Baru roosters who used to rule the neighborhood streets. After all three succumbed to moral fates, the owners decided to dedicate the bar to their lasting legacy. Owned by three Singaporean lads, the bar is the type of place you would want to watch a match at, and then spend the rest of the night there getting absolutely tanked. The owners were childhood friends, inspired by offerings in Melbourne, Australia. To coat your stomach before drinking, try the Japanese-inspired tapas menu, just as imaginative and playful as the drink offerings. Specialty drinks range from Passion Fruit Island Fair to the daunting Enter the Dragon Drink Challenge. If you manage to conquer the dragon, you're certainly a legend in your own right. <laughs>